but I'm I'm still loving Helldivers. Um, the the combination of having my all my stratagems on that stream deck, which makes it like a, it's like having a an extra controller for the game or something. It, it makes it gives you a, I don't know, it makes the game better somehow. Like having this tactile thing. I use. Imagine if all your kill streaks in Call of Duty were sort of on a pad over here. Mm-hmm. And you were like, yeah, commander's calling them in. Well, in this game, you're constantly calling these things in because they it's your ammo. It's how when your friend dies and you need to get him back in the game, there's a button for that. And I used to have to beep, boop, beep, boop, 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 type in a code. Now I just hit the friend button, like get my boys back in. It's uh, it's really fun. And the game itself is good. The game's continually adding new shit. It's one of those live service games that they want a lot of people. How many do you really need? Uh, let me, let me give you more info. Seven. I have a, a foot pad with three buttons on it. Not getting it done. I need a minimum of six. There, there are um, mm. four key stratagems. One of them is to call your buddies in, and one of them is to call ammo in. So I have absolutely minimum of six. Okay. Yeah, I thought you but, were. Gonna, I was hoping you'd be like, yeah, the my three most commonly used are eighty percent there. But I and guess the other not. thing is, you like you shift them every game, maybe because it's also like playing COD. It, it, it's it would be you would shift them as readily as you'd be like, I want to use an M sixteen this game. Ah, mm. I want to use that new pistol. This like every time you change like a little piece of your kit. You'd have a new, but the software is great. You just slide everything in. Um, that that game's been really fun. I think that uh, the next thing around the corner might be um, Age of Imp. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Fallout 70. <laughs> maybe. Fallout, uh, Fallout 70? 76. Yeah, Scum's yeah. been wanting to play Fallout 76. He's it's That game came out. You're like, always welcome on Age of Empires. I see Except all over there. I'm I see gonna... you dragging my boys in there trying to, trying to give them that poison. I am. It, it's like I got a crew over here, and we're just smoking weed. We're smoking doobies, <coughs> watching sports. And Taylor's got a dirty crowd over there in his Discord. They're over there shooting meth, doing doing doing, doing eight balls cocaine. of cocaine. Yeah, they're mixing drugs. They're they're titty flopping. Six hotkeys, not enough. We Remember need that one. dozens. They're ginger flipping. They're doing all sorts of weird combinations of drugs. And if and, you ever jump over to AOE, I was gonna be super nice to you and. And not bully you. You're gonna let me and play then, the Pakistanis, the Hindu Stanis. You can play Hindu Stanis if you want, but you can play whoever you wish. Oh, as long you as you join. They are one of oh. my favorites, but I would happily give them up for a game to allow you to play. I would, I would choose not. Persians instead. But uh, so I see you dragging my boys over there trying yeah, to expose I, them to that poison. Bobby's on with us. He's playing. He uh, mm, Bobby's, you, in a, you were, Bobby's in a breakup mode though. He'll play anything. We played a. Uh, we we like Vavity hadn't played in like a year, and so to like make sure that it's a nice like reintroduction to the game, I was like, all right, well, there's four of us on, including Vavity, so we're just gonna do four v four versus AI, no no live like, and I'm gonna turn the AI down from the the hardest levels to just regular hard, like not that difficult. Like the rest of us can trounce that, and so we'll keep Vavity nice and safe. I we, you can even pick your colors and number to make sure that. Me and my brother were on the flanks on the outside. So we're the ones who are likely to get him attacked. Safe. Keep them nice and safe. And I'd never seen the AI do this ever. <laughs> I'd never seen the AI do this, but I was destroying one of the AIs. I had him pretty much knocked out of the game. And all three of the other ones stormed past everyone else in the game and all picked on Vavity. And he was like, uh, Taylor, they got uh, they got elephants here. <laughs> they got elephants here right now, and they have camels and knights and uh, and bombard cannons also. And I was like, I think he's being exaggerating a little bit. You know, there's no way they have all that down there. I click down there, and the full force of every single AI is ruined his base. He was, you need hundreds, like a hundred plus villagers, like towards the end of the game. And yeah. I was like, "You, we can get you back in this, Volvity. I got a ton of resources. I'm going to use the market, and I'm going to send you thousands of everything to rebuild. And he's like, ah, oh, man, I got... I got six villagers left. <laughs> I, I looked at his base. Even the farms were destroyed. Everything was destroyed. I had, they to, give, I had to give him thousands of everything. And I was like, oh, man, this is a terrible reintroduction to him. Don't you hate that when you're trying to show somebody a game and, like, it, it, it happens to go really shittily? Yeah. I promise you, usually the servers are yeah. they're fine. Like, <laughs> we don't usually have this doesn't happen. I don't know why. All three of them stormed past everyone else to get to you, but you know you'll you'll get you'll get better. But he's yeah, a natural think, gamer; he'll pick it up. Yeah, uh, I might try to keep him away from that. Keep him over there where I am. Playing but you, I, I played Hell Divers with you, and I would have been an, a, a nice teammate. 
no no sending catapults into your base because you can team kill with catapults because uh, they do friendly fire. Not that, that's bad manners though in AOE. But you threw a you stuck me with a grenade, killed me, <laughs> killed me with a drop pod in my first game. That was awesome. <laughs> and it was it was a hell of a throw though. That was awesome. Mm. Yeah, that was great. It's you a very fun game. Shield. Um, yeah, it was fun. We we try, the the team kill just the how little your life seems to matter uh, is kind of a fun part of the game for me. I, I like that that everyone is so expendable. Clearly, mm -hmm. um, it's not that you're get, you, when you call in your teammate, you're not calling in a revive. You're just bringing a new dude in. So they give you 25 dudes per mission, and we we'll go through them all sometimes, and we'll all die, and we'll go mission accomplished. It's, fuck, it's so dark. We're clearly the United States. Like I've said before, yeah. we're we're invading, um, spreading liberty, and stealing oil. Like 100. That's exactly what we're doing, and. Um, I had a lot more fun with the custom guns once someone let, started letting me use those. Maybe not custom guns, though. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Rail, like the yeah, the rail gun with lightning. Tons of cool shit you can throw in. Yeah, the, the weapons are fun. It's just fun to kill the enemies in that game. The bugs explode into green goo, and they scream, and they they don't beg, but they would if they could speak English because you're burning them alive with flamethrowers and stuff. Yeah, they're coming at us pretty hard, too. Yeah, they seem like rough customers. They, yeah, and I, I don't, they're pretty I don't gross. Think we're ever kind of hard to negotiate with insects. Um, mm -hmm. That would be a, a big, mm. like if, if they, if that's one of those sci-fi nightmare things that would like, like, I don't like spiders and scorpions. I don't like bugs. I really don't. I'm, I'm afraid of them. I don't care for them, but they're so small that I can contend with them quite easily. It, it's rare that you see a bug that's big enough that it's scary. I Sometimes you mm -hmm. see like centipedes in South America and you're like, Oh my God. Yeah. It's like, that's like a tiny I, snake. I'm going to arm myself my before yeah, I get a stick before I'd go at him. Like, I'm not going to just try to step on him. He might go at my pant pants. Leg and be halfway <laughs> to my He's going for my nuts, and I'm like squeezing at the knee, keep trying to keep it. Meanwhile, <laughs> like, he's biting the, the shit out of your calf with his giant. But he's now he's stinging fangs. my calf over and over with his asshole or spraying <laughs> pheromones on me to attract the others from their hive or whatever they live in. <laughs> I'm scared of those things. So, like when I when I watch those things about prehistoric insects back when the United the when the the planet had a higher oxygen level, <clears throat> the insects could grow much much larger because the way they breed is they've had these little ports that they absorb it through their skin. So those can only get so big. So insects can only get so big. Yeah, and it's all about the oxygen content. They used to be enormous, Taylor. There used to be wasps as big as crows. Can, can you imagine a wasp the size of a fucking crow? You yeah, know they didn't like. like you think that's a solo wasp? Like it lives by itself with its lady wasp and they have like a, a couple. No, they're in a big hive somewhere for sure. There would be even walking. Fly? You'd be walking through that prehistoric forest and you just hear and you'd look up and you would have walked far too close to a wasp nest that looked more like a murder of crows, just sort of vibrating their little wings so that they keep the babies cool, just vibrating them and staring at you. Like your meat, your meat. Could we lay our eggs in that, Mama? Like then it come for you, zzz, and it'd be over. It'd get stinging, stinging. Is they that sting real? You over and over. They're not like bees. Yeah, that's all real. Wasps the size of crows. Zach, help me out with some some science. Cook it if you have to. Cook it. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't want me to care about the farce of global warming, then they better start lying about bugs it, getting. Go to <laughs> Zach. Go to cryptids.org. My password. <laughs> hmm. I'm I'm quite sure that I've seen the dragonflies and those were like 12 or 18 inch wingspans from what I remember. So I'm pretty sure there were crow sized wasps. I'd bet. Maybe. An amount of money on it. I thought I heard someone tell me once that like, oh, if you take like a wasp or a bee and you make it way bigger, that like it's bot like it, the, the flight part won't work anymore. Hmm. Like it. It would be it wouldn't be able to get the the thrust or the lift or whatever at that size, but a crawling wasp the size of like a chihuahua is still horrid. Or an ant, or a, or beetles, or 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 like a a praying mantis the size of a cat would be a fucking problem. That'd be a huge problem. <laughs> Just snip yeah. your foot off. I can't think of any big words that I'm sorry, big birds that flap their wings to fly very much. That's modern day fucking hornets and that's awful that those are terrible unless that's a very small-handed person th that's awful <laughs> like insects flap their wings furiously little birds also like provide their own thrust by flapping words wings but if you look at birds of prey and such an albatross mm -hmm. they just sort of 
they're built so they can kind of rest on their arms. Like for you to do an iron cross would be very hard, but if you were built like a bird, it wouldn't be so hard. Yeah. And then they just find thermals and surf around. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Does this support Kyle's argument? I'm confused. This is just a poorly um, rendered centipede. That was a that was a ocean creature. This, this could be it. Dragonfly. <laughs> Dragonflies are the greatest flyers in the world. They can fly in any direction. Yeah, according to them. Well, well I mean, hummingbirds can fly in any direction. They don't. You don't see them talking shit. Dragonflies do it better though. They're uh, they're super effective predators. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but but this you did go to cryptids.com, I believe. <laughs> um, is that a real that, website? Well, I, I'm I've never been there, but this I is just what I would imagine is on I, I bet Wendigoon spends a lot of time on cryptids.com. We he get him to cryptids.com. He gets ads of that ancient shit. lore. I don't like these spider faces. If I'm being completely honest, I, I don't care for them. Yeah, I hate spiders. I hate bugs. I, I I dislike spiders <laughs> so much more than I dislike snakes. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm. Okay, so I know. At least a snake you know, has like a mouth, two eyes. I know what's there's up. There's a reptilian brain thing, but my God, at least it's a brain. Whatever's in that spider's head, he does not give a shit about Eight. you. Like I can believe that a snake or even a or crocodiles or whatever could have some sort of attachment with their person, or at least a familiarity that. They will. They think of you as like, oh, this person uh, a brings cohort. Food. Yeah, they think of you, or, or they think of you as like a cohort, like an associate or something like that. It's not like my dog thinks I'm like its parent and loves me unconditionally so much. I don't know if those gators do that, but they won't bite. Like clearly, you can get those reptiles to not bite you. I don't know if you can do that with a fucking insect. If it's ever thinking like, oh yeah, that's my big friend Kyle. He hooks me up with spiders on the reg. Like no. he's not thinking that. You're gonna There's stay no way. You in the abdomen and lay eggs in you the second he's they like, like I bet he would be wonderful to, to lay eggs in. He's so big. They would talk. Like that's like what that. they're thinking. Yeah, that's how they <laughs> talk. It's very greedy worm tongue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bugs suck. If we could get rid of all the bugs, except for the good ones, ants are fine. Uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy, worst uh fine. worst enemy is um not Gothmog, no sir. I'd fight five Gothmogs before I would fight that giant spider. Mm -hmm. nah, What's I don't want to Gothmog was one of the uh, Harvey Weinstein's. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, he was one of the orcs. Yeah, he, yeah, was, he was the orc big leader he orc. With yeah, he's the one who like sees the boulder coming and steps out of the way at the last second and then spits on it. Yeah, mm. and then the troll is looking. He's like. Urgh. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, I don't want a climbing axe. I don't want to climb, but I want to climb. Buy a red rebel if thing. you're going to do it. Right. Is that a type of climbing axe? It's the one from Tarkov. And so <laughs> so in Tarkov, it is it is a melee weapon, but it's also a necessary piece of equipment to have on your person to use specific, very important extracts on particular maps. So when you acquire one through either getting to the right level or magically in game, you get lucky enough to acquire one. It's a big deal. Now you're a big boy and you can go out the big boy extract on the big boy maps. And it's it's very it's a big deal to acquire one. So it's it's a it's a well known part of the game and its lore. It's the Red Rebel climbing axe, and I, I know for sure it's a real life item because there's a website for all the Tarkov items from the cowboy hat to mm -hmm. the uh, the weaponry, the cases, all that shit, the yeah. lip balm. To add to what Kyle said, like as you might guess, the whole point of escape from Tarkov is to escape to extract with the stuff you just gathered, and the Red Rebel opens up easier extracts, so yeah. your survival rate will go up. Okay. Man, I've been way, loving. If I have a red rebel and Kyle has a red rebel and Taylor doesn't, we all secretly hate him because he's causing yeah. us to go to the hard extract. Yeah, I'd be out by now. I would have all these goods. I'd be in my yep. stash celebrating. But because Taylor sucks, now we have to summon the train and. Well, you got a job, off. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> you got a new job. Get Jaeger. Level four, so you can get yourself a red rebel. <laughs> yeah, it's my right first wipe. Scum and maybe Larry chipped in to buy me a red rebel, and it's definitely an act of generosity. But they did tell me we're tired of doing the hard extract. What do you <laughs> here have a red rebel? I did the same thing. I, I, I've, I've definitely gifted people red rebels just because it's at a point you've got so much money, it doesn't fucking matter. It's, it's about 1.7 uh, for red rebel. It's mm. not crazy once you have a uh, a good amount of money and it, but yeah you don't want to have to go through those that map in particular it's it's not that it's an easier extract it's that either you, things go from hell to heaven 
it, it like like the, the the extracts that are that are there before you have the red rebel one of them is in this dark corner underground that called d2 you have to go flip, turn a switch on and then you have to go through these tunnels and like dark stairwells and it's back in a little corner and people wait because they know you're coming because they know that there aren't many extracts mm-hmm. and they'll just extract camp you in there you they'll spend the reserve? whole game yeah they'll spend the whole the game in there hiding in a corner extract, i think because it takes train a minute is... and then alarm set so everyone knows where you're about to go yeah i i used to get on the train out in the yard uh and it it could, could be iffy because it could shoot you from so many angles but i started getting in the train in the train station and just going prone in there and it works mm. every time there's um, a closet that you could often hide in yeah in the I, train I'm, station I, I haven't played in in a couple months now. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm done for this wipe, unless they were to add something big. 